A small camera deserves a small microphone. Today we're going to look at and sound, you should probably put headphones on. We're going to listen to the VMic D4 Mini. This is a small $49 microphone by Dady, which is perfect for a small camera like your X-T30, XS10. Full disclosure, Dady did send me this uh, microphone and pay me $1 billion to make this review. By the way, this is what the internal microphone on the X-T3 sounds like in a office space, in a little room here. If you're closer to the camera, then the microphones on the camera will pick up your voice a little bit more. But then people will see your face like this. Now, what do you get in the box? In the box, you get the Deity microphone. You also get this really large, extra large jumbo dead cat, which deadens the wind. And also you get two cables. You get one that allows you to plug in the microphone into your phone and also your small camera. This microphone also has a cousin, the Deity D4 Duo. This microphone has two dead cats <laughs> that pretty much are the same size as this one. But this, this Deity had a switch where you were able to speak behind the microphone and also pick up sound in front of the microphone. This is also a great option. I just think this is a little tougher for beginners because with the switch recording the back vocals and the front vocals, it puts both things on two separate channels. And that could be a little bit complicated if you're trying to separate the channels, you know, edit each channel. That kind of stuff you is like a learning curve. But if you want a microphone that just records into the camera, great sound then I think I would go with the Deity here, the uh, D4 Mini instead of the Duo. This microphone is very similar too to the Rode Video Micro, which was released in 2015. They have the same form factor. The Deity Duo is slightly smaller and lighter, uh, but they pretty much are very similar and sound kind of similar. The Rode is, I think, $5 more or a little bit more, uh, but... Uh, just so that you know, there's other options as well. And the best thing about these microphones is they don't need batteries. You can just plug these guys into the camera and they start working. Right now I'm recording the Deity D4, what's it called? Right now I'm recording the D4 Mini into the Fujifilm X-T3. I'm recording with the, what film simulation? The Pro Neg Standard with the Color Plus 2. And I'm starting to, by the way, I'm starting to like this film simulation, the uh, Pro Neg. Uh, I've been using it more than uh, Provia. That was an aside. But anyway, this is a good way to use the microphone if you're doing voiceover work or if you're doing a podcast or a video podcast. You can just put the microphone sort of in front of you here, talk across it, and you could be like, Radio Dude 97X, the future of rock and roll. On your Fujifilm, you have a, you can actually set the minus dB level. Right now I have the camera set to minus 12 dB. That seems to work great for anything that's voiceover. You'll have to adjust for your voice and your volume. You just check the little guide and make sure that you stay around that little yellow line. There's like a little border. As long as you stay around there, you're pretty safe. Now to test for peaking, you just have to do something like a Arnold impersonation. Come on, sit down. Sit down, shut up, shut up. So if you say shut up, that looks pretty good. It's not peaking. Now the D4 Mini also has another input. You can actually put another microphone in here and let's do that now. We're gonna take the Rode Video Wireless Go. What is this called again? The Rode Wireless Go 2. And what I'm gonna do is plug a lav into this mic uh, and then actually uh, record, that will record into two channels. So what's cool is this kind of becomes the duo microphone with that extra input. That's something that's not available on the Rode Video Micro is the extra input. So let's try that now. Hello. Okay, right now I'm recording to two microphones. I'm recording into the little D4 Mini, but also I have the lav mic on, you see that? So what you could do, here I go. I am recording the audio way back here, and this is being input into the microphone. So what's neat about this is you can actually have a guest wear one of these and you can talk into that microphone. It's nice to have that flexibility. It sort of acts like a splitter, an input splitter, so that you can use two microphones. Now this is what the microphone sounds like without the dead cat. I just have it raw and naked right here. 
And uh, this could be a little dangerous because any kind of plosives can maybe be picked up by the microphone. The pepperoni. Now I want pepperoni. Now for such a small microphone, it has such a big dead cat. That's all, the only drawback. When I put it on the Fujifilm cameras, it's just such a big puff ball that I actually feel embarrassed walking around. So <laughs> I've been using the Rode Wireless Go because it's a little bit more discreet. And I understand why they did it. They want to cut the wind. Uh, it, it probably done tests that this is the size it needs uh, for the best wind protection. But if you notice, the um, the Duo has smaller dead cats. So I've been taking the ba the Duo's back dead cat and kind of putting that on there. And I think that's a nice smaller footprint. You know, if you have it on a smaller camera, like a ZV-1, or if you have it on the Fujifilm X-T20, uh, I don't love the big puffball, but I understand why. Now, although this is a cool way to use it, the real use of this tiny microphone and these tiny microphones is to put them on camera so that you have better audio and this can sit on the camera. Now, this is the microphone on the camera. And again, the closer the microphone is to your mouth, the nicer it sounds. So if you were live streaming or sort of Zoom calling with your camera, I recommend getting a little extension here. And that's what I used. I plugged this into the camera and this extension right here accepts the microphone. Let's see if we could show you that here. Come on, Fuji Film. You see that? So this one is in the camera. You put the microphone in here, stretch it out, and then you can sort of have a little radio show. You could talk on Zoom with the little microphone close to you. So this is what the microphone sounds like about two and a half feet away. This is what the microphone sounds about six feet away. And of course, if you're out and about holding the camera at arm's length, this is what it sounds like if you're really close up. Let's see how it compares to the Rode Video Micro. Right now I'm on the Deity, I'm on the Deity, and okay, this is the Rode Video Micro, the Rode Video Micro. It also has the Deity Dead Cat from the Duo on there. Uh, it's a little bit smaller, this Dead Cat, as opposed to the big one but this is what the Rode Video Micro sounds like compared to the Deity. Now, not just made for small cameras, this is with the Nikon Z6 II handheld, and the microphone is on top of the camera using the little mirror-y thing. This camera has such great IBIS, and I have the levels set to level 10, so if you have a Nikon camera, I have it set to level 10, and we're getting enough uh, volume here. Let's see what the internals sound like on the Nikon Z6 II. Okay, this is the internal microphone in the Nikon Z6 II, the internal mics in the Nikon Z6 II. And this is with the Sony a7 III. I have it set to level 7. Level 6 or level 7 on the Sony a7 III looks pretty good with the Deity D4 on camera. All right, and this is what the Google Pixel 5a sounds like without a microphone. This is the internal microphone on the phone. Okay, so right now I have the microphone. Here it is right here. It's hooked up to the Google Pixel 5a. What's great about the 5a is it has a headphone jack, so you could just plug this right in without any kind of dongle or adapter. But this will uh, allow you to get better audio if you're filming on your phone. You just need some kind of mount or something. I don't have a mount, so I'm holding the microphone here. But uh, Deity includes the cable that allows you to record into your phone, which is cool. Okay, and right now I'm recording on the Rode Wireless Go, so you can see what that sounds like, the Rode Wireless Go. A lot more expensive, but you do get the option that you can kind of move around and you can go far away from the camera. Okay, this is what the X-T3's t 3s internal microphone sounds like. Doesn't it sound amazing? So uh, this is why having one of these little shotgun mics is great, doesn't need batteries, and you don't have this kind of you know internal mic sound which picks up too much ambient usually. So let's try the Deity, plug the Deity in. Okay, now for a little bit of an outdoor test with the Deity D4 Mini. I've got the crate, look how big this thing is, guys. Look at the size of this thing. <laughs> so the microphone's actually really small. It's not that windy out here, so we can't, there's a little bit of a breeze hitting me. The Dead Cat is good for about 20 mile an hour winds, but this is an outdoor test. I hear a Blue Jay, I hear a Jet. Okay, Rode Video Micro comparison test. It's on the camera here, a little bit smaller because it has, it has this little kind of thing on there that I, you know, created myself. My levels on the X-T3 are about negative 11 dB, I think. 
but you're gonna have to experiment with whatever microphone you use. With the Deity, I, I seem to like minus nine dB, and the levels are good. They don't go too, they don't peak too much. You could put this little wireless receiver on there. Hi, okay, we're still recording. Yes, we are. All right, I'm gonna go far away. Okay, you see me back here? I don't know if you see me back here, but um, I have the Rode Wireless Go. So if you had to talk into microphone and then step away, this is something you could do. Again, this is great if you have two people because their second person or your model or someone can be mic'd up. All right, and this is the Comica VM20. Now, this is not a very fair comparison. This one probably sounds better, but you have to charge this microphone. It's a lot bigger. And so again, for a small camera and a quick run and gun, I like these little plug-in microphones that don't need batteries. You just always have one in your bag and you could get great audio just like that.